And all right, let's see. Well, um, I did a bunch of uh, stuff off screen. You know, nothing new. It's just that I need to do play the game again a third time, basically. And there's no extra scenes after the second playthrough. So I had to just, you know, off screen, just go through the story once again, back to this point where we gather all the keys, you know, for the Shadow Lord's castle, basically. And the music, you know, slightly different in the village, which seems to indicate, you know, it's the end game and everything. So yeah, I did that. Um, you know, Yokotaro just, you know, he just forced you to just play the game again, you know? Play the game again or else. That's what you need to do. And so the plan is now simply to do a bunch of side quests, basically. And I assume by doing, I mean, a number of side quests, maybe all of them, you can get all the weapons, and we've seen before that's the requirement to getting the other ending as well. You know, you can't you simply you can't simply just play the game again just to get another ending. You you have to like collect all the weapons in the game as well. Also, been growing flowers in my garden. You know, this I think I believe this is indigo. I'm trying to I'm trying to grow peach. I think right peach flowers not working. No, actually, there's one. Okay, there's one peach flower right here. This is orange, I guess. So I need peach and indigo, and once they're, you're gonna have to, have to wait like another day in real time. So um, once that happens, I'll harvest the seeds and then combine them, or at least alternate them in the garden to create pink moonflower seeds. And that's what I need for a side quest as well. So that's what you need to do for that. I can't do it now. I'm literally time gated, though I can, you know, advance the time clock or time system clock thing. I can time travel basically. Um, Elsai Kongu. Well, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna do it you know, normally if I can. For now, though, let's see. What I did off screen as well is uh, collect the side quests I've already, you know, collected before. And, uh, you know, got the necessary materials again. I, I took the dam. or I, I uh, took the damaged map quest again. And everything. I had to collect three more gold highs. So that's what happens last time. You know, because I, I didn't find the treasure the first time in that playthrough, I had to like do the quest again. So slightly annoying, but it's fine. I got to the same point I had before, and now I need to go to the place where the sunlight does not reach. I think where I, I think I know where it is now. I think I know. There's the, there's the knife. We make the uh, guy is like ordering a knife from Seafront, or rather from uh, the uh, the two brothers weaponry thing. You gotta collect ten titanium ores. Life of the sands. Still need those moonflower seeds. Can't get that. Uh, here's the fisherman's quest part seven i caught the royal fish you know i did that kind of did that off screen because there's a lot of fishing so i might as well do some of the off screen i feel like probably do some on screen as well probably like near the end but um it's got some fish in the eastern road which is where you need to go to pass like to go to uh the desert basically initially as well as the lost shrine in the very beginning of the game there's also yeah the bridge in peril this net this, this this quest i always i never can never like do because apparently it's a random spawn in the northern plains near the bridge but i never see it so i don't know i don't know how to like spawn that it's just random i guess and the masterless lighthouse well a bunch of materials you've got to collect from the robot dungeon as well i finished that up I had to go into the robot dungeon again so much robot dungeon grinding that you'll never see because i did it you know off screen I feel like even on screen we went to the, the to that dungeon plenty of times already. I feel like. Anyway, so you know I gotta hand those quests in, and I also gotta collect new quests because I miss a few quests near the end here. Could be because when I reached here, you know, last time I just simply finished the game and everything. And so we gotta do go through some content. Hmm, I don't know where you collect other quests. Well, I mean, go to Dvala, obviously. Dvala. Hmm. Can't hear her sing anymore, you know, even though she's strumming that lute. Hmm. Can you hear her a little bit? No, oh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think you can hear her. She's just pretending to like strum that lute. <laughs> Keeping her fingers busy, I guess. Okay, let's see. Frisia. Okay, City Reborn. Okay, that's Facade. And I just want to know where the quests are. You know? Search for a shade. There's a shade in the village, apparently. Okay, well, I want to... Yeah, 
except this one, because I don't know where the location is in this village. Uh, oh, near their end. Okay. Guard. On the guards, probably. Different job. I just got stone. Uh, Frisia. Flores and Seafront. Okay, Seafront as well. So, facade, Seafront, and the village, obviously. Somewhere there, I guess. Well, a magical stone. Summon the forest of myth, one of your assistants. That's the first job I got them there. Well, as long as I can remember. Now, that's a long time, since you're a weird android person that's lived for a thousand years or something. Maybe more? I don't know. Someone got timed out in my chat because they're a... Yep, they're like a, you know, a spam bot. How many spam bots these days? On Twitch and then YouTube as well. I don't want to complain. I don't want to go on a big rant, but like... There's just so many spam bots, you know? In the world right now. Why are you spamming people? Stop it. Ah! Anyway. Um... What am I gonna do now? Let's see. The, the shades, right? Yeah, okay. I want to go to the guy near the gate. And get the quest. Get the quests and hand them in as well. I go to a lot of different places though, I feel like. Hand them, hand them the quests. Hmm. Mm, oh, over here. I see them on the map. Right here. Oh. I always miss you because I never, you know, think to look to the right when I pass by. Okay. Uh, ah, it's you. Good, good. Are you available to discuss a certain sensitive matter? What is it? People are saying that a shade has managed to enter our village. I was hoping you could track it down. Okay. Search for the shade. This isn't a very big place. Would we have seen it by now? I had my own doubts at first, but there have been too many witnesses for me to ignore this matter any longer. Hmm? I saw a really scary monster. She saw it too. Apparently, I can't say for sure who's seen it. I saw the monster right around here. You did, huh? Can you tell me what the monster looked like? It was over at the river. It was huge and scary. I didn't like it. Over by the river, eh? Let's go take a look. どういうことだ。今まで親しくしていた人たちをある日突然切ることができるのか。友人を子供を老人を魔物だという理由で切ることか。それでもやるしかない。ここは夜長戻ってくる村なんだから。その覚悟を忘れるなよ。I mean, I was thinking like, you know, maybe the Shay is possessing someone. So, we have to strike them down even if we have to kill someone we know, you know? There's a river, but... Just, you're, you're just a fast travel guy, so... Unless that guy is the monster, I don't know. Could be. Are you the monster? No. What about over here? I mean, I assume this is a river, right? This looks like a river to me. Yeah, looks like a river to me. Where is the monster? You, know, you guys know? Hmm. Hmm. Uh. hmm. They said river, but it could be like someone out, maybe outside the, the village. But then they talk about the the village, right? Maybe if we keep following the river. I don't know. Hmm. Goes over here, and over here. And over there? What's this? What's going on? This is like a cutscene, sort of. I don't know. It doesn't look like a shade was ever here. Perhaps the young lass misremembered the location. Yeah, she's just a kid. Let's go ask her again. Also, there's something here. Is it a medicinal herb? Sure. Oh yeah, and also, by the way, I'm using this, uh, this weapon. I believe it's called the Beast Curse. You know the way the weapons work in Nier, in this game anyway? It, t it seems like 
there are just better weapons, you know. This weapon I'm using is not optimal, but I like how it looks, so I kind of upgraded it, you know, to max, and then I'm just using it. Because I like how it looks, I don't know, it's like a big old, you know, pole arm. You know, it's kind of like a, I guess an axe, right, sort of? But like you also thrust it, so it's kind of like a, actually I don't know what you would call it, actually. Halberd? Maybe? I always call everything a halberd, I don't know. But like, a thing with like an axe head and also a spear point, you know? It's, I think it's a cool weapon, huh? It looks the best, I feel like. Even though there's definitely better weapons, especially the Phoenix weapons. I think the Phoenix weapons simply just do the most damage. So if you want to, like, you know, do the most damage, you just use those. But I don't know, they feel too fancy. They don't fit, you know, Nier's look. So that's why I prefer this axe. Anyway, axe spear thing. Nah. We went over to where you saw the monster, but we couldn't find anything. Are you sure you saw it by the river? Um, no. Oh, oh I remember now. I saw it in the square in front of the library. Okay, let's go check it out. Hmm. Oh. Are you the boy that cried wolf, you know? Or the boy who cried shades, maybe? Uh, Pretending to see shades when there actually aren't? Uh, well, let's go to a fountain, though. There's multiple- by the way, there's multiple fountains by the way. There's a fountain over there, but I guess there's a fountain over here as well. I remember there was that one quest, you know, that confused me because they said, Oh, fix the fountain, but there's multiple fountains. Hmm. You see anything? Yeah, see what? No. She, she just has hell timers. Don't worry about it. What did they say? They said... Search for a shade. From the library, okay. I remember I said before, like, the, the fountain has confused me. But actually... That quest wasn't about going to the fountain, it was actually just getting the... The, the parts from Facade, the Strange Things store instead. Did she say, did she say fountain? I don't know, am I... I'm, I'm misreading things, I think. I don't, did she say fountain? I thought she did. For some reason, I thought she said fountain, though. And that's why I went on that tangent about fountains. But there isn't... She said the, the square from the library. That's what she said, right? I don't know. I'm crazy. I can't read things anymore. My brain doesn't work anymore. I'm like the old lady by the fountain, actually, I guess. There's nothing here. I guess she was wrong again. This is a fool's errand. Even a young girl would hardly confuse a library gate with a river. Perhaps we should ask some of the other villagers. Yeah, maybe. Why did I even go off, you know, that tangent about fountains? I thought she mentioned fountains. I'm just, I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I was nowhere near a fountain. Maybe she said like past the fountain or something? I don't know, anyway. I guess we go back. Ask other villagers? Well, who do we ask? I don't know. Can we ask another kid? As you. You have like a thing on your head. I think I saw the shade a few days ago, but I can't be sure. Whatever I saw, I it wasn't much bigger than a kid. Hmm. Uh. Which reminds me, actually, you know, I was kind of right because what we learned before these uh, shades are actually, I believe, gestalt, and they're like the original humans and everything. You know, the the small ones we always kill, and sometimes they drop like school books. I think we're murdering children. Hmm, you know, as it turns out, we were playing as Anakin Skywalker this whole time. <laughs> Killing a bunch of younglings, anyway. Oh. A shade? Oh yes, I saw it. it. Gave me quite a start, let me tell you. Strange thing was, it seemed to be accompanied by a child. Hmm. Shade and a child. Nah. I saw something near the shopping district that sort of looked like a shade. You know, if you squinted. The girl's story is not agreeing very well with the rest of the villagers', or, uh, villagers testimony. I think we should question her a bit further. Hmm. <laughs> It's funny how, like, in the subtitles, it's, it was like, you know, uh, Nier was like, and? You know, like, Grimoire Wise is like, 
we're being lied to and you know near saying that but actually in japanese he's like uh you know so he's uh, speaking like a full sentence i think he said something along the lines of like you know we're being lied to who would lie to us and why you know is what he said but in english he just said and <laughs> you know that's it one word I think I know why, why, I think I know why this, I guess, girl. I didn't know it was a girl, it's hard to tell. Boy, girl, I don't know. It's the same to me. They're all little children. I can't tell the difference. Listen, I'm not angry, but I need you to tell me the truth. Why did you lie about the shade? I'm not lying. I saw it. It was big and scary and big. Tell us this, then. Where did you not see the shade? You're weird. But, um... I guess I didn't see near the northern gate or on the hill to the west. The hill to the west. Northern gate and the hill to the west. Oh. Okay, it's not there. Okay, we tricked the child. <laughs> Amazing. Now we're gonna kill uh, her shade friend. Well, probably is like, you know, like if this was like a Disney movie or whatever, the shade is like a friendly monster, you know, who saved the child and everything and they're best friends. And then like, they're um, being discriminated in the village, so eventually the kid uh, learns to, you know, teach the monster how to like be friendly to everyone. And by the end of the movie, everyone accepts the monster and they become part of the family and everyone's happy, right? So too bad we're going to mur we're totally gonna murder that monster. By the way, we're <laughs> this is not a Disney movie. Also, I, I which way am I going? Northern gate. So north is this way. Okay, okay, I am going the right way. Cause I thought I thought I was going the wrong way. So around the northern gate, on the hill to the west. I guess I have to go like around here. Hello, Shade. Where are you? I'm totally going to slaughter you because you're a Shade, and we must kill all Shades. Obviously, they don't deserve to live. They're monsters. That's the old school book. Totally not just murdering children. Don't worry about it. One of the first games in history that allows you to kill kids. I don't know. Isn't that like a thing? Like, well, maybe not a thing. Sort of. It's not like a law, but like, I feel like a lot of video games, especially the open world video games. I guess like Bethesda games, I guess. Basically, they have, uh, if they have like kid NPCs, they're basically immortal. You can't kill them. But. In this game, you are killing children. You know, you just don't know it. Anyway, go to the west, though. Enemies. Yeah. Yeah. So, hill to the west. So this is north. Never eat shredded wheat over here somewhere. A hill to the west. Somewhere here, I guess. I don't know. Like, it's a hill. It's not a lot of hills. Like, most most of this is just a flat land, I feel like. Go to the west. Is this a hill? No, it's just a small rock. Hmm. Somewhere here. Well, while we're here, we can check if the monsters spawn. Looking at the weather. I think uh, the shade spawns... Like, it's more likely to spawn if it's like, uh, cloudy, you know, the one near the bridge anyway, that's a th different quest. I check around here as well. Oh, there you go. I've never seen a shade this large around here. Be careful, this is a formidable foe. So I don't think this is a shade we were, you know, in the side quest they were talking about. You know, the, the kid. I feel like, th I think this is a different quest. The one where, you know, I've been looking on the bridge many times I haven't seen yet, now I see it. There you go. I will parry you! Ha ha! Get parried. It's fun parrying big guys. One of my favorite things to do in uh, Dark Souls, actually. Though not in Dark Souls 1. I believe in Dark Souls 1, you can only parry, like, small enemies. But I believe... I, I don't know if it's in Dark Souls 2. But I believe in Dark Souls 3, you know, certain bosses you can parry. Which is always fun to do, you know. 
Oh, Labyrinth Whisper? Okay, that's a weapon. We need that. ものにそんな知能があるわけ。知能がないと。そう言い切れるか。年々魔物の攻撃は巧妙になっておる。知性を持ち罠を仕掛けるようになったとして戻ろうかな。なら態度がでかくなる前に殺すだけだ。いずれ
It's dead, kid. Well, thank you very much. I was having trouble sleeping and knowing there were shades in our very town. 5,000 gold. It's not a lot. It's very low. I feel that you can't do that quest until very later on, you know? When you got, when you gather all the keys and yet that side quest didn't pay you a lot, really. Yeah. Pay you very little. I wonder how that kid feels about that. I don't know. You would imagine them like crying or something or like trying to murder us. You know, for killing her her friend or something, but you know, I guess we don't see them ever again. Uh, anyway, where do I go now? Let's see. There's a quest in Facade. There's a quest in uh, Seafront. And I guess, well, there's a knife. There's a map. I have to go to Lost Shrine for that. Hmm. And some quests like I had in the Seafront anyway. Okay. Let's go to, um... Uh... I mean, I don't know which way is faster, but I want to go back to the Two Brothers Weaponry. I want to make that knife, you know? I'm also always doing the dash roll, you know? I feel like, yeah, I think this, I think this is what you do, you know? You dash, you roll, you dash, you roll. That's how you get around. Fastest way, I think. Anyway, here, Gideon, you're crazy, but make a knife. I'm looking for a kitchen knife. Sorry, I don't have anything like that. Okay, I already did this. It's all this dialogue before, yeah. I'll be back! Ooh, and I'm back! Yo. I got your 10 titanium alloys. Great! I'll get to work on the knife right away! <laughs> I'm super crazy. There you go, one elite kitchen knife. Truth be told, that's one of the finest things I've ever made. That good, huh? Vegetable or bold, nothing cuts better. It's based off a design from my father. Your your father cooked. Yeah, he did pretty much all the cooking. All mom could do was bake bread. I sure miss those days. Not too bad. You're crazy. Okay, that's it. That's it from old good old Gideon. Hopefully, I never have to come back here ever again because I hate this place. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, let me save though, just in case. Save in this slot. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's continue on our way. Not a lot of errands we need to do, basically. This is like end game. End game errands for near replicant. I'll do all this if I want to get the different ending. Okay. His father was trying to be a chef. Amazing. Uh, his father was dead though. What does it matter? His mother's dead, his brother's dead, everyone's dead. Who okay. cares? Who cares about his family? They're all dead. Anyway. Where am I going? I'm looking for, yeah, this. So this is where this is uh, supposedly this is where the sun doesn't shine, you know, a, a a slab of rock on on a door, basically. <laughs> you know, I don't I, I don't I don't understand it either. But obviously you can't you know you don't see anything there. However, that's why you have to go the other way around. Go over here, this way, and there you go. This is a, this is the answer to that riddle. Somewhere where the sun doesn't shine. Which, to me, I, I don't know if that's correct, but whatever. At least I got it. Let me get rid of these guys. Get out of here! Oh, shades. shades. Anyway, this is the treasure that I've been looking for for, like, a long time, so... Pile of junk. Is this the treasure? A pile of junk. Seems that treasure map was a ruse. Now what? His wife isn't gonna like this at all. Well, that's the treasure. Some trash, you know? It's just trash. Amazing. Did all that for a pile of junk. Mm. Well, let's go back. Let me hand in, hand in this pile of junk. Oh no, what happened? Well, we followed the map, but all we found was a pile of junk. Sorry. I see. 
In that case, can I ask you to sell my jade hair ornament and purchase something shiny with the proceeds? Then we give it to him and pretend that you found it. Huh. You're sure? This looks pretty valuable. That's because it is. But if it keeps that idiot husband in my home safe, then it's worth it. You know, so social isolation, social distancing, you gotta stay home. Well, should we obey the wife's request and sell her jade hair ornament? Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, this is like reminiscent of like a story, isn't it? Like, I forgot what you call it. I mean, this, this is a classic, you know, fairy tale. I think it's associated with Christmas, you know? It's kind of like how... Well, probably what's going to happen is that uh, if we sell the hair ornament to get something, as it turns out, the husband was trying to get the treasure to, to give a present to his wife as well, you know? They both sell something valuable that they were going to give to each other anyway, right? Or something, you know? I don't know what's the, uh, what's the right thing to do. Sell the hair and just follow what she says? Because I'm thinking like, we can just do the Aesop, you know? We can just do the story. The short story that is super cliche. Or we can keep it for no reason and just be a weirdo about it, you know? I don't, I don't know why we would keep it, but we can. That makes me curious what happens if we just keep it for no reason. I, I assume, I don't know. Because if we get something expensive, the thing is, like, if we sell the hair ornament and get something fancy and say, Hey, we found the treasure. Here you go, guy. And then he's going to be, I feel like it's going to be the opposite. It's going to be like, oh, you found something very valuable. Oh, that means there's much, there's probably much more valuable things out there. I'll go and get more treasure maps and do more treasure hunting. Let's go, guys. You know, that's probably what he's going to do. You know, the husband of this wife. So instead, I think I'm going to keep it and say, hey, actually... All we found was this pile of junk. You should just give up. You know, there's no treasures out there anymore. That's what I. That's my reasoning. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know. It's a weird decision, but I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna be weirdo. Don't, I'm gonna be a freaking weirdo. Oh. oh, did you find it? Was there gold or silver or jewel encrusted scepters and magnificent diamonds on every? It was just rubbish. A large, ruthless pile of rubbish. Oh yeah, and also, yeah, I like to tell the truth. So that's, that's my reasoning as well, you know? Rather than lie about it, just say, hey, we just found this. Whatever. Oh, rubbish, huh? Well, I'm not gonna give up. I'll find another map and I'll... Perhaps you should stop thinking only about yourself and think about your wife for a change. Huh? Though I cannot imagine why, that woman cares very much for your safety. And each time you trudge forth from this house of dreams of avarice, spinning round your shockingly insignificant mind, a small piece of her dies. Would you truly put her through such agony? Would you allow your greatest love to suffer so you can scratch the earth for treasure like some headless barnyard hen? I think that's enough, Wise. Your wife is worried. She wants you to stay home. She even offered to sell her hair ornaments so you think I found something. So... Maybe forget the treasure and start thinking about her, all right? I didn't... I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I've been such a fool. It's all right, dear. I'm glad... I'm just glad you understand. I've turned over a new leaf, friend. From now on, my life is devoted to my wife's happiness. Oh, but wait. There's one more thing. Here. This is the first map I ever found. Now go ahead. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Okay, a marked map. Hmm. This map's a lot more cryptic than the last one. Yet I feel confident the jug that will lead us is to is the same. Come, we have little time to waste for these trifles. Yeah, but don't you want to check it out anyway? Aren't you at least bit curious? Curiosity about such things are beyond my comprehension. We're all a sense of fun, Wise. Now let's go talk to Poplar and see if she can help with the map. Another treasure map? Ah. Uh. I mean, I'm just dreading it because, yeah, there's gonna be another cryptic riddle and I gotta go where the sun doesn't shine in like another place. And I don't know, where are you supposed to find that? You must go to where there is air. And also, you know, I don't know, where it touches the earth. Be super vague, and I don't, I don't know where to look for it. Let's see. Let's go back to Popula. Popula! 
Can you read my treasure map real quick? You know, I said, I, I did say we were gonna like go to the lost shrine and go try to murder the Shadow Lord, which you're also, I guess, protecting and you're trying to murder us. Uh, but let's put that on hold for now and find this treasure first. You know? You. Hello, I've got another map for you. Is that okay? Sure, let me take a look. Here it is. Hmm. The code on this is pretty tricky, but I think it's a map of the Northern Plains. It mentions something about the place where the Iron Bridge starts, but that's all I can read. Sorry, I can't be more help. No, this is great, Papala. Thanks. Papala? Papala? I believe in Japanese, actually. Her name is not Papala, it's Papol. You know? But I guess in Japanese, you also say... Because it kind of sounds like Papala anyway, because when you say Popo, you know? Popo, you say in Japanese, Poporo, Popora, Popora, you know? And also in, in Japanese is uh, Debo, you know, Debo instead of Devolva, or you say Devolva, Devola, Debo, you know, in Japanese, but it kind of sounds like Devola anyway, in Japanese, so that's why they localize it that way, so Debo is kind of like Devola, 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 Debola, 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 how would I know? Mm. Yeah, I want to check this place as well, because I think I filled it up, you know, these are all the bosses. I fought and everything. I guess. She and Lost Shrine. Anything. You learn more about them or something? Wolf. Fine construction. What's this? Middle shell. It's a statue of a boy. Popular like some strange things. Statue of a boy. Did we fight a boy? I mean, we fought multiple boys, I feel like. You know, for example. I mean, Emil, for one. I don't know, we I mean, fought Emil's sister, I guess. Um, we fought the little small shade, you know, the robot friend as well. You know? Hmm. And we also fought, like, technically ourselves, you know? I wonder if that's the Shadow Lord, maybe? Like, it's just ourselves as a boy. We killed ourselves, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Look why, somebody made a copy of you. Nonsense. Rubbish. Utter flim flam. I'm nowhere near this filthy. <laughs> hmm. That's all the bosses we fought. I assume, yeah, maybe that's maybe that's a shell. Because assuming these are the bosses we actually fought, you know, in like in terms of like um, having a health bar, you know, and we fight. That's probably a representation of uh Nier, you know, as a boy. Hmm. Why would Popular be collecting figures of the shades we defeated? I haven't a clue. Uh, if they are real, I guess it doesn't matter. Let her do what makes her happy. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. Is it like, I mean, well, is it like a shrine to the fallen or something? You know? Kind of like a graveyard? I don't know. Weird. You know, a cool thing you could do... Like, maybe they say, yeah, I was kind of confused. I was kind of confused because there was a tutorial about saying like magic chaining, I guess. And I guess what you could do is that you could like attack, 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 and also just like tap the magic button and do that. It's sort of like a combo, not really, but it's sort of like a combo, I guess. Like you attack, 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 and then just do a thing like that. It's, it's, it's sort of like a combo. It's like a magic combo. Anyway, I see this symbol right here. I assume this is it. A lot easier, you know, a lot easier than the other one. Out. Stop it. Ah, here. I'll tame the spear, Labyrinth Shell. Wow. It would appear this latest treasure map was the real thing. Yeah, I say this is an ample reward. And we did it. Got the weapon. Alright. Another one on the list. We do need those weapons to uh, unlock the final ending of this game. Final endings. Plural, actually. Mm. So look at it. Okay, it looks like that. Mm. Again, it kind of reminds me of an insect's pincer. <laughs> so it's kind of almost like a trident, though, I guess. I, I imagine this is like... Oh, I was gonna say it's very powerful, but actually, no, it's not. Phoenix Spear is just more... just better. I guess it's, it's, I guess Phoenix Spear is just better. It's also very heavy, apparently. Though, the attack speed is basically the same. 
Anyway, put on this one. I, I always like this one. Mm. Over here. Well, I have a knife to give. You. Yeah. There's the knife you wanted. Ah, thank you. How's he getting along, by the way? How do you mean? Well, you know, he doesn't have a father and all, and I was just wondering if he was doing alright. He has a difficult life, but he seems to be getting by just fine. <laughs> I don't think so, Wise, that's wrong, but anyway. I see, I'm glad. Is something going on here? No, no, no. Anyway, here's your reward. Hmm. I narrow my eyes suspiciously. Are you the original father? Did you like abandon your kids? Is that what happened here? You should probably tell him the truth because this is like his mother died and also his brother died as well. He's kind of alone, you know, by himself. He's going insane. Should prob well, I was gonna say should probably like uh, you reunite, but also he's also kind of crazy as well, you know, this Gideon kid. He might end up stabbing you, but maybe not. <laughs> He's all right, huh? huh. <laughs> hey, where's another quest? Should be another quest, right? Somewhere. Now, now though, I'm handing the fisher quest. Hello, fisherman. Got some three royal fish for you. You. Here. We'll dip my oar and call me Cecil. Looks like the fisher boy has become a fisher man. But do you think you can push me off my spot? Come on, let's go. Gahaha, and I'm just using my left hand. I think we move beyond fishing at this point. Did you see us improve? Now, part eight. I got something special for you this time. Go out there and catch me two blue marlin. How is that special? Only ever caught one once myself. Bring me those fish and I'll call you a master fisherman for true. Best of luck! Okay. I think to catch blue marlin, I think it's right here, right? You have to use um, sardines, I think. At least that gives you the best chance, and then you can catch the blue marlin. It's a bit random though, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it now. Let me just do all the other side quests first. If I if I have nothing, if I really have nothing else to do, then I'll do some fishing. I don't know. Now let's see. Oh, actually, yeah, I do have to go back. I think. Yeah, because I see, like on the mini map, there's a circle with dot on it. So I think, yeah, it's another quest from this guy, same guy. Yeah. Hey, remember that book you found me? Well, there's another recipe that piqued my interest. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no, another one. Would you mind helping me out again? All right. Bon appetit too. I hope it doesn't involve shark fins. Nope, it's burled catfish served over rice. I just need 10 giant catfish and 10 bags of rice. Think you can help me out? Ah, another grindy quest. How much do I have right? I think I caught some catfish. I don't have a lot though. And I think rice. Well, I don't know. How much rice do I have? I think I have some. I have seven rice. I think, can you buy rice? I don't remember. I guess that's another thing I have to do, maybe off screen, I don't know. Okay. But I think there's another quest around here somewhere, and I gotta find it. I don't know where it is. Oh, here, okay. <laughs> Their the icon is blocked, you know? You see the icon on the minimap? You, you know, you, they're blocked by the other gray blobs, so you can't see the quest icon. It's hidden. Um, I met my husband on the job five years ago. We married within a month's time, believe it or not. Oh, five, exactly five years ago. Your dad flowers are praying around. Hi, long time no see. How are you? Oh great, thanks. My Frisians are selling like hotcakes. Oh, did I, did I do a quest for you before? I think. Maybe I did. I don't know. I think I delivered something right or something. But good to hear. And who's that? Oh, that's my wife and son. Oh, you got married. Yep. It took a lot of some time, but I was finally able to move on. Oh, that reminds me. Are you looking for work? Oh yeah, he's the guy that... Okay, we delivered some Frisia to the Airy, right? But then we learned that his, his like, um... 
his supposed, you know, long distance girlfriend, I think, actually left a long time ago. So I guess he moved on and had enough family. Yeah. Now, that reminds me, are you looking for work? Sure, why not? Now, what do you need? I have a customer in Vassal who needs a fridge, and I was hoping you make the, the delivery. My customer runs the material shop over, over there. I know it's a bit out of the way, but... Vassad? Well, that's okay, I'll do it. Thanks! Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. I was gonna go to Vassad anyway, so it's actually on the way. No problem for me. <laughs> I think I saw that. Oh. oh, that's a different dialogue for some reason. Wolves in the desert. I mean, we killed the wolves. I mean, in this part of the playthrough, actually, I already killed the wolves. I don't know why Weiss is talking about wolves when we killed them already. But I was gonna say, actually, when Ami was talking about the, you know, the florist or whatever, he also said, uh, he was also, uh, uh, he also mentioned when I went back to the uh, robot dungeon as well, Amiya was talking about uh, the lighthouse lady, you know? Or rather, asking about the lighthouse lady anyway. So that's a cool thing. I guess, you know, some parts of the game where Amiya wasn't with us in part one, in part two, he just, you know, asks about it, I guess. And everything. So we kind of like tell the stories of what happened in the first part of the game to Amiya, and I guess. Kane as well, since she's hovering around us too, I imagine. Okay. There you go, material shop? Where's the material shop? Where's the material shop? I don't know where the material shop is. Well, I can like, actually, it's way easier to just take this. The desert taxi. Material shop. Mm. And what you can do as well, by the way, and I think I mentioned it before, but actually, you don't have to wait for the whole ride, you can just press start. And, then, uh, and there you go. It is actually fast travel. You can just simply just skip the cutscene, you know, you don't have to watch the whole thing as it turns out. Anyway. Yo. You expecting a Frisia? Oh my, this certainly brings back memories. Memories of what? Of many things, both pleasant and sad. I used to live in the area, you see. Oh, then I suppose I should tell you. That's been destroyed. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, yeah, this, yeah. The little girl who lived next door to me used to love her freesias. We used to put them in our hair, and... Anyway, one day she was attacked by a shade. Before I could do anything, she turned into a monster. I don't think the adults believe me, but I know it happened. I know it. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you for the flower. Wakaranai. Well, uh, again, a very the slight, you know, difference in dialogue there. In, in the subtitle, Nier said, I think that's a bad idea. But in Japanese, you say Wakaranai, as in, I don't know, you know? Like, I, I don't know if we should. Weird, like, weird localization, but, you know. Anyway, there you go. So as it turns out, like, we, we learned before that the lover, apparently, seemed to have moved away, but actually she died, so... So that's what happened. That's, uh, that's her fate. And I guess we have an option to, to tell the original guy about that. Which, I mean, you know, I feel like we should, because at this point, he already has a happy family. I mean, I would hesitate to tell him if he was still, like, sad over his lover, you know, and that he was still, like, worrying about her, I guess. And uh, that would probably make him, you know, very depressed and might be prone to doing something stupid. But he already has a wife and a kid, and he's already, like, happy, so... Might as well bring it down a little, you know? He already, he already has it way too good. Gotta tell him the bad news. <laughs> oh, great benefactor. Please hear our supplication. What is it? 
blows have been dealt our city, a devastating blow are just starting to rebuild. However, the scale of destruction was massive, and we find ourselves running low on metal and wood. 20 pieces of iron, or 20 pieces of clay, and 20 logs. Oh yeah, this quest. I think I saw it before. Uh... So I gotta do that. I thought I did that already? Didn't I do that? Did I do that? I don't know. I don't remember if I did that already. I don't think I did. It seems like a lot of materials, so I don't think I did it. Regia, gotta return. City reborn. Um, I have enough clay. I need more iron ore. And I need more logs. I think you can buy these, actually. I know iron ore, obviously you get them at the two brother weaponry. I think you need logs. I don't remember where you get logs. Seafront, maybe? I imagine, this, I mean, all these quests where you get materials, if you can buy them, I, I imagine they're in a different place. Because otherwise, you would just, you know, go across the street and just buy it anyway. I don't know why you're asking me to get them. Mm, yeah, no rice. I'm looking for rice as well. It might be that I can't get rice in that case. I need to grow my own rice. That would be slightly annoying, but I guess I'll do it if I have to. What do you sell? Oh yeah, you sell rice. Okay. Well, it's funny because the guy was asking me to get some rice for him. Right here, it's across the street. You know? He's so lazy. Just buy it here. Anything else I need to buy? Or something? No, I don't think so. As far as I know. Okay, so that's rice. So I don't need to grow rice. I still need to catch some catfish, however. That's still gonna be on the the to-do list. To-do list? To-do list. To-do, to-do list. Let's see, any logs? No. No logs. I think you buy logs. I swear I bought logs before, so I think you buy them. Anyway. Let me uh, give the bad news to Mr. Frisia. Mr. Flower Guy. I delivered the freezer. Oh, hey, thanks. Here's your fee. Yeah, I'm a just lover. I'm gonna do it. Because why not? <laughs> you know? Listen, this isn't gonna be easy, but I think you have the right to know. You remember the letter you sent your lover five years ago? Well... What? No, oh no. I'm sorry. If I would have just called her over here sooner. Probably best to leave him alone for now. Yeah. Well. Well, whatever. Nothing you can do about it, buddy. So, I mean, whatever. Yeah, he'll be fine. He has a wife and kids, you know? Again, if he was, like, alone still... You would probably just, you know, jump into the ocean, but, you know, he, he has a happy life. I don't think he's going to do something stupid, like is what I would think. That's my reasoning, you know? He needs to feel, you know, he needs to feel the, the guilt of his lover's death. Otherwise, he'd be too happy. Can't let these people too, be too happy. That's the rule of y Yoko Taro. Can't let these people be too happy. That's not allowed. Mm. Alright. What next? You know, I'm just going down the list, doing a bunch of errands. Basically, that's the game. They reborn. I lost. The tea, got the rice. Fish. Oh, yeah, the lighthouse. I forgot about the lighthouse. Got about that? Should do that now. In that case, I have a bunch of materials that I can hand in to the to the guy who will use it to repair the lighthouse. I guess the lighthouse lady's old home. Gotta keep it, uh, you know, repaired. Hello. Yeah. I've got your gear. Oh, well, thanks. Here's your payment. Or payment. The old lady's gone now, but we need to keep this lighthouse going. There you go. Is it real constructive? Perhaps in the, even in death, the old woman refuses to neglect her duty. And she's a ghost now. She's a shade now, you know? She's been... 
fused with the lighthouse. The giant, the lighthouse itself is actually a giant shade, and that's the true secret final boss. You know, to fight a giant lighthouse. Maybe, maybe not. What about you? Okay, okay, you're the mature. For some reason, I thought you weren't. Ah, right, here we go. Here's a logs. I'll tell you. Buy some ten logs. Woo! Plenty of money. So. I don't know how- I don't even know what I'm gonna spend this money on. There's nothing to spend it on anymore. Okay. And I also need... Iron ore. Oh, I need 20. Oh, for some reason I thought of 10. Gotta buy 10 more. I also need 20 ore. Bam. A bunch of logs. Just 20 just full-sized logs. In my pocket, you know, as well as a bunch of other like random weapons, and just a bunch of like in general, just a, a just a horde of materials in my pockets, you know, fruits, and random robot gears, and just everything. All right, you have any iron ore? I I think he does, right? I think he sells sells ore in general. Yeah, a bunch of ore. So I'll buy plenty of ore. I don't know, he's about 20. I could buy I could buy infinite, it doesn't really matter, you know. I have plenty of money. Uh I'll just save again just in case. You know, you never know. You never know. I'm addicted to saving. Hello! What are we gonna do? What's wrong? Thanks to those thieves who unlocked the seal, the Baron Temple is crawling with shades. We need to get in there and seal them away. Well, they are powerful and I worry about my people. Plus with the rules and all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. It's okay, we're used to this sort of thing by now. I wish we could help you for a change. Can we go over here? Oh, okay. I think this door was closed before, you know, when it came here. Oh yeah, okay, so you do, you do need to go this way. Alright, here you go. There's some shades we need to murder. Magic doesn't do anything because they have shields. Wow. Those are, those, those are some giant orbs. Nope, get parried. Ow. Okay. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna slap me? No, I'm gonna parry you. Get parried. Alright, anything else? Any other shades around here? I guess we go further in. Oh, and the save point right here. Where we fought the boss last time. I don't know what's gonna be here this time though. Is it just gonna be an another boss or... Huh? Mini boss anyway. It's funny, like, wow, I can't believe he's so strong. It's the same boss as last. I think we just fight this boss. He's pretty weak compared to me, anyway. Parried! Parried! Get parried. Fun car. Hmm. Well, there you go. That's, that was easy. <laughs> that wasn't hard at all, really. That was very easy. The shades inside this temple are far more powerful than I expected. But either way, our work here is done. Let's get back to the king. Okay, teleport! Okay, good thing. I don't have to, like, walk all the way back. Thank you for dispatching the shades. Here's a small reward for your work. Uh, got to obtain the two-handed sword, Labyrinth Song, and the quest is complete. There you go. 
And I guess I got a trophy. I don't know if you saw it. You know, sometimes it shows up, but I don't think you can see it. I think that's it. That's all the weapons, right? Yeah, that's all the weapons. That means I unlock- I basically am ready to do the ending. In that case. But, um... I don't know, should I do it now or do it later? Because if I, you know, if I finish the game now, that's- I feel like that's it, you know, there's nothing else to do. But there's some side quests I can do. I don't know, I don't know if they're interesting enough to do right now, but... There's also the pink moonflower seeds. I don't know if that really matters right now. I don't know. We can look at the Labyrinth song, though. Camera's kind of zoomed out though. Can I get closer? There you go. This is like a little big old blade. Two handed sword. It's alright. Pretty slow. I, I do like how in two handed swords in this game are like, you know, you can feel the momentum behind them. I like that, but I prefer the spear. Mm. Despite that, I still prefer the spear. I forgot to hand in the materials that I painstakingly got for him. You. Got your stuff. Ah, perfect. This brings us one step closer to normalcy. Here's a small token of our thanks. Ah, 50,000 gold. Nothing special though. It's just, it's just money. And those are the questions that make me feel a little bit disappointed because that's all you get, right? You just get money. There's nothing else. No like interesting lore tidbit or character development or any kind of like small story of like NPCs. Just like you just get money. The end. That's it. Good job, buddy. In the sands, then move my receipts, bum up a thing, got the catfish, obviously the fisherman class. Which I don't, I, I, is it even worth it to finish the fisher, the fishing the quest? The fishing quest. Is it, is it worth it? I don't know, man. Well, there's the person right there. Let me just let me save, just in case that guy murders me somehow. Or, well, it's a woman. It's hard to tell from. You know, you're covered in mist, and you're from a far away, or I was looking from far away. Don't turn to help. I heard you had a job for me. What is it? Well, I had this sudden brainstorm a week ago that the real money is in fortune telling is in the fortune telling business. So I'm trying to set up a shop. Okay, fortune telling. You know it. And once I get my special gazing stone, people will be flocking in from miles around. But, but. The stone was supposed to be delivered, but it hasn't come. No stone means no customers, and no customers means I'm eating dirt tonight again. You just, is this, that's not, no, it's just that normal, you know, for people living in the forest of myth. You just eat literal dirt. That's your diet. Can't you just get another stone? Well, they're pretty rare. I think Popular knows something about them, but she and I aren't really that close, so I don't want to bug her. I, I know Popula. Let me ask. Oh, would you? That'd be great. Okay, ask Popula for the magical stone. I guess. Mm -hmm. What is this song, by the way? Maybe it's been played before, but you know, the village, the village like theme song has been changed. So it's like I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like, what would you call this song? Like, I recognize, like, a Mio's theme, I recognize Kane's theme, I recognize the song of the Ancients, you know? But what's this song? Like, a, maybe it's a variation? It's hard to tell. Anyway. No. Do you know anything about some kind of magical fortune-telling stone? Oh, you mean the Eye of Power? The Eye of Power? And yes, I know it's a funny name, but that's what they're called. Why do you ask? I'm doing a favor for someone. You have any idea where I can get one? Hmm. Well, there used to be some on the roof of the Lost Shrine. I suppose they're still there. Alright, I'll give the Lost Shrine a shot. 
Okay. But actually, that might be where, well, I was searching in the last shrine for the longest time. Also, wow, who are these kids here? Were they here before? How come I can't see Dan? Sorry for the trouble, sir. Okay. For some reason, I never saw these kids before. Have I? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. Um. Maybe I forgot. Anyway. I was looking at the... I was, I was I was searching all around the lost shrine for the treasure, right? From the treasure map. And I was looking at the roof as well. And that might be where you find the Eye of Power, actually. I think I've already been there. It's just that I, you know, was looking in the wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. Anyway. No, so yeah, well, I think I looked it up. Like, I remember in the very beginning of the game? Where I said, like... Why did Yokotaro make um, the, the 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 differences between Gestalt Replicate having different main characters, one being like a father and one being a brother? Why did they even do that, right? And I think I looked it up, and I think the reason is the fact that, uh, well, for one, it's kind of like a well, I've read from secondary sources first that apparently. It's a myth that uh, they made the father near so that Western audiences can uh, relate better, you know, in the Gestalt version. Because in, in the international version, you play as a more older father kind of character and everything. And then the Japanese version is like this one, right? So... I mean, that's what I thought too. Like, why did they make like the international version different? It's actually the other way around. Actually, they near Gestalt came out first, and then they changed uh, the Japanese version into the younger near, I guess. And the idea is like, at least from what I've read, uh, and also their opinion, I guess, is that they catered to the Japanese market, not the other way around. But then I also looked at, looked at it a little bit further, and actually, it's, it's kind of like a double myth as well, because um, the replicant version was actually, it was, it, was, it was the original version, you know, in the concept art anyway. Because the original design for Mir was actually the younger version. It's just that they changed it at the last moment for the first version, which was the Gestalt version. Oh, I got the eye power. Um... This must be the, an eye of power. Oh my gosh, I can feel magic just pouring out of it. I must say I'm a prince. Telling one's fortune with such a powerful stone could produce rather accurate results. Okay. Yeah, also drop the lab machine. Got the eye of power. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying, yeah, the differences between Gestalt and Replicant. Um, the real reason why... They used a replicant version for the Japanese market. It was again because um, they tested it out first with uh, Father Near, and they were like, actually, you know, in the Japanese, the Japanese, I guess, I don't know, beta testers or something. I don't know, like play testers maybe. Actually, preferred the younger Near, so they brought back the original, the original design, which was the younger Near, into the replicant version. So that's what happened. So yeah. And also, like, oh, well, partially the reason, I don't remember if it was, like, Yokotaro or somebody else, some kind of director of the game, I assume it's Yokotaro, um, they actually like both designs, you know? So that's why they wanted to implement both designs into the game, so therefore, you know, that's why there's two versions, because they couldn't help but have, like, you know, two versions of the main character. They, they, they like both, I guess. I assume it's Yokotaro. It makes sense if that was the case. But that's why there's Gustav Replicant. A, basically, Yokotaro just liked them both, so he just wanted both. You know, he wanted his cake and eat it too, basically. That's the real reason. Much like how his reason for having attractive hot waifus in his game is because he just likes hot women, I guess. I mean, sexy women. Sekoshi women. Which makes me want- again, I wish you could play as Kane. I mean, I guess... The sequel, Near Automata, is kind of like, you know, that's what the game you want if you wanted to play Kane, quote unquote. You know, not really Kane, but sort of. You want to play as like a 
hot badass lady, you play Nier Automata. That's the main character of that game, so you get to do that, I guess. So I do like, I do actually, you know, personality wise, I actually do like Comic. I, I don't know, I just like the fact that she's just like, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. I don't know about what the right word is. I mean, she reminds me of Kunasato Mio from Chaos Child, the visual novel I played recently. She just is very aggressive? But that's not the right word. It's not really aggressive. It's kind of like... I mean, sort of. I mean, she basically, she, she gives no shits, basically. She's like a badass that gives no shit about what other people think, I guess. You know, that's her vibe to her, I guess. Compared to like 2B, for example. 2B is much more, much more of a subdued personality, you know? I feel like. Overall though, I kinda like Kana, I like her. I like her. I wish she would, she would stop like wearing lingerie though, all the time. It just doesn't seem very appropriate, you know, in the middle of combat or whatever. I think, I mean, I can't, I think the lore reads, I don't know, did it, I don't know if it said in the backstory necessarily, I don't think it did. I think it's just implied in her, like, short stories, which I, I read one, well, I've read one short story about her, which is interesting, let's just say. Quite explicit, there's like one scene that happens that's quite explicit, but that confirms something about her, but anyway. But I think the reason why she wears lingerie, I mean, one reason anyway, practical reason is the fact that uh, she's trying to suppress Tyrant, right? The other shade living in her body. She's making it so it's hard for Tyrant to completely control her body because, you know, shades are weak to sunlight or whatever. Though I feel like that's kind of... Cause that, that, se that seemed to be a plot point in the beginning of the game, but actually later on though, it doesn't really matter because come on, look, look at these shades right now. They're definitely in sunlight. Well, this one's in shade, but you know, the other ones are in, in sunlight. They're completely fine. Doesn't really affect them all that much anyway. Alright, let's see. I got the Eye of Power, right? Do I just give it back to the client? Yeah. Can I look at the Eye of Power? You know? Doesn't it? It seems... You would think it seems pretty powerful. This is the Eye of Power. It seems very powerful. Stone that shows the owner whatever he wants to see. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, also, well... I think I noticed that we still have... Where is it? Yeah, yeah some stuff. Yona's Ribbon. We still have... We have Yona's Ribbon still. This is funny. We still have it. Weird. You know, all this time, we're just holding on to Yona's Ribbon. I mean, I mean it makes sense, I guess. It's our obsession, you know, we gotta save her and all that. Hello! Well, did you find a stone? Is this it? Yes, that's it. Oh, thank you. Oh, and while you're here... Hey, how about a free reading? Come on, this is the least I can do. Uh, sure, I mean, we can say no, but... Why not? Let's see what the eye has to review. Okay, so we're back in the beginning of the game. This is like Nier's like, I guess, memories, you know, somehow, even though he hasn't been here technically. His replicant version, I guess. But somehow his body remembers, maybe? Is that what it is? Is that how it works? Yona, where are you? Are you eating that cookie? Are you eating that cookie, Yona? Where are you, Yona? Okay, she's not here. It'd be funny if she was there. But Yona's just eating a cookie in the corner. Kind of like, uh, you know, book ends. Sort of. We started the game in this weird snow city, and we're back to the snow city. And that. And that funny. 
I don't know if there's any reason why we're here. It's just to show, just like a little like Easter egg, maybe. It's kind of, oh hey, we're back to where we started. Isn't that isn't that funny? Uh huh. You know, Yokotaro just like does a wink to the camera, and that's it. That that's all it is. Uh, So Yokotaro, you know, he can't even wink though. He's wearing like a mule's head thing. Can it even wink? I don't know. Oh, got it. I mean, I'm just murdering all these shades. What else? You know, do, what else is there to do around here? Any restaurants I'm going to visit? I mean, everyone's turned to shade, so probably not. It is an interesting prologue, though. You know, I said before, like this is this is a very interesting scenery and everything. There's like a collapsed bridge, I guess, a collapsed highway, and there's buildings everywhere, there's modern buildings. It's a, it's a shame we don't really get to explore it in this game, but I guess we sort of explore it in the sequel, maybe. Sort of. Very some similar similar area, I guess, in Near Automata. I don't know if it's the same area, but it's similar, eh, you know? Boss time. I found this guy before. Remember him? Ah. Uh. Oh. oh, Perry. Come on. Eh, yeah, Perry. I remember parrying this guy. It's the first time I learned how to parry. I'm nostalgic. I don't need to parry though. In fact, probably as fast as just to not parry. You know. But I kind of want it. Perry! Yeah! Yeah! Perry! Bam! And then smash him off. Alright, after fighting this boss, this is where we go to... to where Yona is, and then we learn that she touched the book, and... and we freak out. Oh no. Ah! What was that? I cannot say, but I doubt it was a mere daydream if all of us experienced it as one. I think I've seen that before. Wow, I don't know what happened, but you guys look a little shaken up. Yeah. There's a deep inner meaning behind this fortune. Um, but I'm not really sure what it is. Sorry, I guess I need more practice. Anyway, thanks again for the help. Stop by any time. Actually, I think I'll pass for now. I got some money, though. どこか懐かしいような風景だったな。懐かしい。ああ。だめ。胸が締め付けられるような感触もあった。あの場所に何か忘れ物をしたような奇妙な感覚だ。さっさと忘れることだな。夢なのだから。あ、just a dream. Don't worry about it. I mean, I mean, it's pretty obvious what that meant, you know. We sh I guess we share memories, you know, with our human self as the replicant version, so that's probably why. In a weird way. There you go. At least that was a little bit interesting. Anything else? I mean, all the other quests I need to do now are... Fishing. <laughs> and the seeds, which I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. But those are all the quests I need to do. Oh, is this a catfish? I think it is, because it's a lot faster than the other fish. This one's moving around a lot. Bam! Okay, got it. There you go. Got the catfish. Alright. So now we're done with that. We can go back to the seafront and hand in that quest. And the rest of it, I guess, is just doing the blue marlin one. I think the blue marlin one is, um... 
bit more random, but I don't think it's too bad. We'll see. Because we only need to catch like two, though. So. You just gotta get lucky two times. Anyway, here's uh, some, some rice and some catfish. I got those ingredients. Thank you very much. Here's your payment. I'll cook it right away. It won't take long. It's ready. Oh, that was fast. Try it. Let's get it. Let's get this over with. Wait, how is it? Mm, this is delicious. I bet Yona would love it too. Excellent. I'll definitely be adding this to the menu. I hope it sells. I'll come back and eat sometime. No, catfish rice. It's literally just fish on rice. Is that like a real dish in real life? Uh. There you go. That's one quest down. Um, you, you got money and that's it, you know? And I guess a comment about like, Yona maybe liking catfish with rice. I don't know. But uh, let's see, there's only two more quests to do. I guess technically three if I want to do the part, I think part nine of like the Fisherman's Gambit. But this one is the two blue marlins. So I have to catch two blue marlins. And I think you catch it by using sardines here. And I bought plenty. You just have to use it here. We're back to the very beginning to the fishing quest. I remember being the very beginning of this game. I went here and I thought this is where you get shaman fish, right? Nope. He just tells you, hey, just go fish at the beach. That's where you get shaman fish. I thought like this is the beach. But no, this is not the beach. The beach is over there. The other side of that rock that you can't see. But I spent like half an hour or even more maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to fish fish here, but I'm trying to fish a salmon, a shaman fish, but I didn't get any. Uh, uh. I mean, this one is a pretty feisty fish. Maybe it's the blue marlin I've been looking for. Get one off the bat. Uh, so that spirit is just for Eddie? Ed you mean edginess? Edginess sake? Yeah, I mean, well, I, I like it the best. I don't know. I mean, I guess the beast weapons in general, they kind of fit uh, Nier's like clothes, you know? It matches. I guess. I mean, for, var for various reasons. Because like, I want to use a spear for one. Oh, oh Blue Marlin. There you go. One, one down, one to go. Um, I like spears, for one. At least in this game, anyway. I like uh, the fact that it has a blade, you know? Because all the other spears are just like pokey, pokey sticks, but this one has an actual blade. So it makes sense, you know, whenever you're slashed with the blade, the spear, it makes sense that it works. Because otherwise, if you slash with a spear that doesn't have a blade, it looks kind of dumb. So that's why I like this one. And yeah, poke with it, you know, it's like a pole arm. In general, you know, in real life, pole arms definitely are just like better, you know? You know, swords in real life are meant to be sidearms. They're not meant to be like primary weapons of war. Like when like a knight comes in into the battlefield, they don't like go come in with a sword unless they're using a shield, I guess. But normally, you know, they have like a two-handed uh, weapon or a bow, I guess, of some sort. And so that's what I like about it, you know? It's kind of like practical, I guess. Ah, oh wow, that, that one's hard. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's also, I mean, coincidentally, obviously, it's probably the most powerful. I mean, it's the fastest as well. I mean, at this point where I'm like over leveled and everything, I kind of want speed over power, you know? Because at this point, I don't really need to do more damage with the two handed sword. I just need to kill faster because I'm already over leveled. And have enough attack power for like to just one shot anything anyway, really. So I just need the speed and range. I guess if you want to be again, if you want to be optimal, you would use the uh, Phoenix Spear. You know that that one just does the most damage in general. And that's how it works in this game. You just have better weapons, but you know again, I like this one because it looks better. I feel like the Phoenix weapons though. They're just too fancy. I don't know. They're just too fancy. It just doesn't fit Nier's clothes. That's what I'm, you know, that's what I care about. Whether or not it looks good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is it. Just, just grab it. Yeah. There you go. 
Guma lens. Right in front of the old man's face. There you go. Are these the fish you wanted? Well, I'll be. Never thought I'd see the day. Well done, Master Fisherman. Seems I've but one technique left to teach you. I've taught you everything I know, but I don't mean you can stop learning. It's a big world out there with the fish likes of which no man has ever seen. Fishing skills improved. Part eight. Part nine. You know, I reckon you just might have what it takes to catch the fish. The Hynaria. The Hynaria. No man has ever hooked a Hynaria and lived to tell the tale. If you can do it, then you're a fisherman beyond even my own skill. Fisherman's final gambit. Be a legendary catch. I'm sure it'll be worth following your catch. Track it down. Well, the game doesn't tell you where it is, but I believe it's in the sand. So you go to the desert. So that's where I'm gonna go. Oh. This one seems powerful. I assume this is a legendary fish. It's hard to tell where the fish is, by the way. You know, because it's like in dust, I guess, covered in dust. In sand. It's like very hard. I gotta squint my eyes. It's un like, I can see it barely. Like, bit, bit it to the right. Oh, now it's to the left. Mm -hmm. I think I should pull I should pull a little bit early. Not too early, but once it's low enough, like a Pokemon, I guess. I should pull. Because then it's gonna get away if I if I let it go all the way to the end of its health bar. I would imagine. We'll see. I get real I wanna I think like one fourth of the way there. Maybe. Um uh, maybe I should I don't know, maybe I should go all the way, I don't know. Because imagine if you let it, the health bar go all the way down, it gives you the best chance, as in like guaranteed. But you're risking it because the fish might get away. I don't know. Uh, I'm already there. I'm gonna pull now. Oh, what was it? Hynaria. Got it. All right. It, it looked like a weird. It looked like a weird eel. I don't know. There you go. That's the legendary fish. There you go. Legendary fish. You know, actually not that hard, as it turns out. I don't know why the old man hyped it up so much. Actually, pretty easy to get. You know. Can you look at the fish, by the way? Hmm, items, fishing... Does like, can I show you an image? No, I can discard it. I can just throw it away. Probably not a good idea. Old man, where are you, old man? Hello, old man, I got the legendary fish. Here you go. Hmm. Where'd the old man go? Oh, you're yeah, not the old man. Oh, the old fisherman. Didn't you hear? He passed away just this morning. Not another one. Another like old person we were interacting with. Now they've died too. I guess that old war injury finally got the best of him. From what I understand, the guy used to be quite the mercenary. A war. He did mention, yeah, a few of those, a few of the dialogues I've done before. I don't know if I did it off screen or not, but he mentioned like him you know, might be like being a soldier of some sort. Or he seemed to be like a soldier anyway. And that explains a lot. He supposedly did all kinds of terrible things back in his day, so, truth be told, no one in town much cared for him. But he sure seemed to enjoy your company. I think you made his last day some happy ones. Well, my fishing skills improved though. I don't know if there's gonna be any. I don't. I don't think I'll do more fishing, but. Yeah, there you go. Fisherman has passed away. Rest in peace. Is there anything else? Okay. Oh yeah, no reward. He didn't give me anything. He just ate all my fish and then he died. I don't know. 
You know, maybe I gave him too much fish, actually. He always ate my fish, but I gave it to him. Maybe he ate too much. <laughs> that might have what killed him. Oh well. I got fishing skill, though. I have maximum fishing skill that I'll never use ever again. Well, I don't know. At least not in game. But maybe, in, you know. Maybe I'll catch some fish for Yona, you know, in, in the epilogue or something. Give her some fish. Here you go. Has a, here's a Hainari uh, sushi. Um, now let's see. I mean, let me check on my flowers. I think the flowers are still... Yeah, they're still flowers. I think I do have some... Okay, so I have some peach, though. I need peach. I need indigo. So if I combine them, or at least alternate them, then I'll be able to get some pink ones, right? I need at least one. If I get at least one pink one, I can like, you know, harvest it and make more. But obviously it takes like, real time. So I don't know, I'm gonna... You know, we'll see. Let's see. I'm gonna check my options. It's gonna, be, it's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna just check my options real quick. If I can like, configure something... Let's see... Alright, two days have passed. And then more seeds. Ta-da! Huh? But none of these turn pink. That sucks, none of these turn pink. Well, only these got pink. I guess I'll harvest them. How much cheese do I get? I get like... Four? Okay, four is alright. How much for this? I imagine much more, because I have put fertilizers. Five! Oh, okay. Exactly ten. You know, if I want to make Luna Tears, then I would like... Make more plants, I guess. I think it's like pink and peach, right? You mix them together and you get like a white uh, moonflower, but you also have a chance of getting a lunatier, I guess. But, you know, since I have exactly 10, that's, that's good enough. I don't really want the lunatier, really. It's just like a cute thing you could do, but it's not really necessary. I, feel, I think? I don't know. I don't know if it affects anything. Like, what happens if you have a... Lunatier in your like inventory. Do you unlock the super secret boss? No. no, no. Do you fight like the shade version of Grandma. No, no. I don't imagine that you know would be a thing. And as far as I know, it seems like there's no secret bosses in this game. Which is, yeah, uh, you know. Kind of a disappointment. Not really disappointing. I don't know what the word is. I don't know what the word, what the word is. I would like, I would, basically, I would like a secret boss in this game. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, I never noticed this before. Was this here before? Like, are these Lunar Tears, by the way? Because I'm near mentioned like he grew Lunar Tears in the five year skip, right? And gave them to, like, Hane. Are these Lunar Tears? Or are they something else? They look like Lunar Tears. So, you know, maybe that's a thing after five years. Or maybe they were always there. I don't remember. <laughs> I really don't. Mm. There you go. I got the seeds though. Let's see. I think that's it, right? I got the horses, life in the sands. What? Oh, okay. I got nine. I, I can't count. I thought I had... For some reason, I, had, I thought I had ten. I guess I spoke too soon. Well, that's fine. I'll just plant some more. I'll just do more time traveling. Okay, these should be it. This should be it. Finally. I collected all the seeds I need. Five more. Let's double check. There you go. You collect the seeds, bring it back to the client. And what they're gonna do, they're gonna play in the sand. And then the plants are just gonna die. Because they can't live in the sand anyway. And that's the whole point of getting these seeds in the first place. Uh, the original quest giver wanted these seeds to grow flowers in facade, but that's not even gonna work. They don't even have soil. How are they gonna plant? I mean, that's what Kane said, you know, in the dialogue. He said, like, what an idiot. <laughs> you know, why are you trying to plant flowers in the middle of a freaking desert? It's not gonna do anything, dummy. Oh well. Wow. There you go. You. I've got the seeds for you. Oh, thank you so much. Good luck. I hope they can grow here in the desert. I will do my best to make sure they bloom beautifully. 
Amazing. 10,000 gold. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. <laughs> but oh well. I'll save. Alright, let's just do the ending of the game. Let's go you know, with the epilogue. Whatever it is. I'm completely blind, by the way. I don't know what happens at all. I know a little bit. I know, like, a mechanic that happens. Otherwise, I don't really know what really happens, you know, story wise. We'll see you guys. And part of the reason why I, I picked this weapon as well, because in cutscenes, you know, when he slashes the enemy, or slashes the boss or whatever, it wouldn't make sense if he was using a spear, because why would you slash with a spear? Anyway. There you go. That's. Well, I don't know. We beat the Shadow Lord a third time. I've collected all the weapons in this game, at least, you know, in the vanilla version. There's some DLC weapons, but I don't think those count, so. I think I unlocked something. Maybe? We'll see. What happens? Huh? お前の体はもう お前を乗り込んで暴力の塊になって悪意の世界に巻き散らせるっていうのに Hell, what's going on? What's going on, Kanae? What are you doing? This didn't happen last time. You just like, you know, you said you had other things to do and then you left. But this time you're being swallowed by a black scrawl. Uh, what's going on, guy? Like, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> Kaine, what happened? Well, Damn it! Stop! 
暴走したゲシタルトに意識なんかないお前と俺の記憶は全部塗りつぶされちまうんだ<笑>カイレいや、私は言われたら、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、私は、I kind of want to parry her. Does that work? I don't know how to parry. She, she attacks so frequently. She kicks me as well. Oh, that's good. Ow. Okay. I should just. I should just. Just stab her. This is also why I wish you could play as Kade. You know, she seems to like have so many cool moves. Anyway. I just ah stab. Hmm. Also seems like well, actually, I was wondering though. She she didn't seem to do a lot of damage. I think it's because I have some words that give you a lot of physical defense. That's why it doesn't do a lot of damage. In life. Everything is quite white. It's, it's very bloomy. It's quite, quite bright. White and bright. Well, there's two decisions, I guess. I mean, probably can talk, I guess, and sacrifice our existence for Kane. I mean, that's normally what I would do. But since I already know, well, there's, there's, you know, two ways to do this. And obviously, whenever I play visual novel, you know, any kind of story, I always choose the bad end first, just to see what it is. Before I pick the other one, so <laughs> it's 
step. Oh, damn it, didn't work. I thought it was... Eh. I, w I thought you would do this. You know, just... just Come on, let's just... Eh. Let's stab her some more. Eh, maybe that'll work better. Let's stab her some more. Okay, no. Okay, we just talked. What should I do? Sacrifice your own existence to make Kane human again? Or end her life and free her from the burden of living? Hmm. Again, normally I would just sacrifice. I know what happens when you do this, though. I guess. I mean... Bit of a spoiler. You know? But, you know, it, it's quite necessary to know what happens. Because if you choose... Okay, well, if you choose this... Then you well, I I won't be able to choose the other ending. Is basically what I'm saying. So let's choose this one first. I mean, you know, this is really a tragic end, but uh, let's end her life. I mean, she's lived a full life. I mean, you know, all she really wanted to do was get revenge for her grandma. She's done that already, so it's not like she wants to do anything else, right? Well. That'sに帰ろう。聞こえるか。俺は長年カイネの中にあって奴を苦しめてきた。それはすなわちカイネの苦しみを肌で感じてきたということだ。気が遠くなるほどの苦しみを。だからわかるのだ。今カイネに苦しみは
I guess I, say, I keep saying shade. I guess the proper termino terminology is gestalt, you know? They're gestalt forms, I guess. I'm trying to kiss her gestalt lips. I don't know how that would work. What do they feel like, you know? <laughs> like, they look, they look weird. They don't have texture to them. What happens if you poke one? Hmm? What does it feel like, anyway? I'm just letting these credits roll. Mm -hmm. More credits. Can I, like, can I make the credits go faster? No. no I don't want to, again, I don't want to skip the credits because probably there's going to be another extra little scene after this. No, I don't know. And I guess the ironic part as well. I mean, I guess it, would, it doesn't really matter, but she also said that, uh, you know, since Emil is in the round, no one can stop her, right? You know, I guess only Emil would be strong enough to, like, stop her from going berserk, I guess. I mean, maybe kill her, you know, quicker, <laughs> you know, faster than Nier could anyway. Uh, but, you know, Nier wasn't, or rather, Emil wasn't dead, you know. We know that Emil is alive, but I guess he's too far away, you know, to, to even do anything at that point. You know, he's all the way in the desert, you know, you can't really make it to the, to the Shadow Lord's castle fast enough. You can't roll fast enough. I guess. Anyway. Okay, any extra scene here? No? Oh, actually, there's no scenes. Okay, that was it. Alright. That, that was just the, the credits. I guess... Well, let me uh, make a save over here. One. Yeah. Ending D. Your choice in this decision could allow you to view the very last piece of the ending. Ending D. Alright. So ending D is like basically sacrificing yourself is what you need to do. I imagine. I mean, I think that's what it is. So instead of, uh, you know, we could, well, you can, you can like beat the game again, basically. All the way from, you know, not the very beginning, but the halfway point. But obviously, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to load. I think that's, I think you can do this, but I think you can just simply load the data you had before, right before getting getting the uh, ending C. I think. Hopefully, you know. Come here again. You know. So I, I we just need to beat the game again one more time, one last time, and then we get to see what happens when we sacrifice ourselves to save Kane. I mean, that seems like the canon ending, I feel like. So, let's go. Uh, let's go. Alright, so again. So we're here again. Very, you know, final thing we're gonna do in this... In this game. Make one final decision. So instead of just murder, like murder kissing her, I guess, um, we're going to sacrifice our own existence to make Kane human again. This is what we're going to do. お前はこの世から消える。お前の妹、ユージ、その他すべての人から。お前は忘れ去られる。お前、お前の生きていた証も全て消える。それと引き換え。if you choose this option, all of your save data will be erased. Are you sure about this? You know, classic Yoko Taro. I wonder if he did this in the, in the Drakengard games as well. Anyway, seems like a, this is like a theme, you know, in all of his games. Um, delete your save data. Well, I've done all I can. I mean, I've did pretty much everything, I feel like. I missed like one side quest back in part one that I will never ever see ever again because I won't, I most likely won't ever come back. Um, but don't worry about it, you know, whatever. I think I've done, I've done all I wanted to do with this game. So I think I'm ready to yeet the save data into the trash to save Kane. You know, this is all to save Kane. Let's do this. Even if you elect against it this time, you can always return to this selection by clearing the game again. Are you still sure about this? Yeah. 
all near data, all near save data on the same user account will be erased. So you can only choose this option once. Are you really, really sure about this? Sure. This is your last chance to change your mind. Are you really, really sure about this? Sure. No. I want to. You know, it really is. I'm kind of remind. You know, harkens back to like, um, in the in the good old days. You know, when save data. Like, if you were like to lose your save data back back in the day, that would be like a big deal. I feel. I mean, I guess it still is. Depends if you like back up your save data. I guess you know. Like, I remember when I played Pokemon. You know, and then my save data got deleted. It was really, really disheartening. So I feel like that that's kind of like the the feeling that Yokotaro is trying to give you. You know, you're gonna like delete your save data normally. I mean, well, I mean, that's how I do it uh, before as well, you know? Normally, when you, like, beat a game and everything, even if you never come back to the game, you like to keep your save data, right? It's kind of like this virtual trophy, you know, of what you did. You could, like, you complete the game, and you kind of, like, you want to save, you know, that memory in that, I guess, like, memory card or whatever, you know? Normally, that's what you want. So, like, the idea, you know, at the time, even, like, deleting the, the save data is really crazy, right? But, well... What I'm gonna do. I want to see what happens. I'm gonna delete it. And oh, and it says here, enter the name of the player to be erased. You can't really see this, but I have to enter the name again. Um, hopefully, I do it right. Like, yeah, yeah. I try. Okay, <laughs> this is the second time I've messed up. Let's try again. Okay, because I, I have to use my Japanese keyboard. Uh. Or not Japanese. Well, it's like, you know, it's an option on Windows 10 to have, have like a Japanese keyboard thing-ish thing. I don't know. Mm. Oh, okay. That's why. I forgot. I put my name in katakana, not hiragana. Doi. Anyway. Katakana. Katakana. Katakana? Katakana? How do I? Hello, katakana. How do I? Katakana. No, that's not right. Uh, full with katakana. Near. Okay. A bit of a nagging there. Finally, it worked. All right. Because I forgot. Because you know, when when I entered my name, I put it in katakana, not hiragana. It's like a different alphabet in Japanese. And you have to put like, well, you have to put it in Japanese because it's a Japanese game, you know, it's a weird like little, like quirk to it. But anyway, the correct name was entered. Yay. All save files will be erased. Oh. Oh. Bye. Goodbye. All my stuff. It's all gone. Mm. Quest completion, 98%. <laughs> I guess the 2%, again, the 2%, I think is the quest that I missed. I think that counts as 2%, I think. As far as I know. Oh, my fish! No, my fish! All oh, my fish are gone. Not the, the tutorials. Now you'll never know how to play the game ever again. Bye, all the documents. I think I looked at the documents already. I mean, the biggest one was like the project is stalled documents, right? I think I looked at that already. Number 41! Whee! Yeah, I'm gone. And the key! Oh, that's gone too. Deleting memory 1. Deleted. Deleting memory 2. Deleted. And deleting memory 3. I had like three save files. So that's the lead too. And I well I didn't make I didn't make any backups, so this is it. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. You know, that'd be really horrible if the game crashes or something. I can't like load back the game. Like this is it. But anyway, let's watch the cutscene I guess. Kali's back. That's great. Oh. 
ヨナあなたが助けてくれたのよね無事でよかった。どうしたの？え、せっかく魔王を倒したのに、ちっとも嬉しそうじゃないのね。そうか。As that's it. That's the credits. I don't know. If there's an extra scene after this as well, but I guess that's it. That's the ending. Ending D. Um. Yeah. Remember that time that you know, Hane was the main character, and she basically just fought all the bosses by herself, and also made a friend named the Meal. That was great, wasn't it? What a good story. Where totally Kane, the only just Kane. No one else. That's it. Nobody else existed, totally. And like she just, you know, defeated the Shadow Lord and saved this random girl who totally did not have a brother. You know, all her parents are dead, and you know, for some reason she saved this girl. I don't know why, but you know, that's what happened. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I assume that's it. Oh yeah, ending E. Well, well okay, I forgot about that actually. I should have got that ready. Because ending E, I believe, is just text, right? There's an epilogue to this game that you can only read outside, actually, outside of the game.、Um, we'll see, I guess. We'll see about that. I have to like find it again. But、um, yeah, that's the game.、Mm -hmm. Some a song plays, I guess. I guess I don't know. We'll just listen to the song for now. I don't know if there's an extra scene, but I'll you know, I'll keep quiet. Enjoy the song.
Mm, I see Yoko Taro, director, Caviar Incorporated. That's his name. The only, the only person I associate the near series with. Yoko Taro. Again, I'm just waiting for like if there's any extra scenes. I think I have it ready actually. Ending E. Like in the background, I was like, you know, preparing it. Hopefully it works. We'll see again. I think it's an incomplete summary though. Well, we'll see. Yeah, any, any extra? Any extra scenes? You know, any stingers? Or is that it? Oh, okay. Thanks for playing. See ya, sucker. No save data for you though. Alright, oh, I'll get a little lunatary there. Amazing. Um, and I guess, well, let's see. I want, I kind of want to like, you know, I don't want to play the game all over again or anything, but I would kind of want to start like a new game, actually. Downloadable content? No, I'm not downloadable content. Okay. Normal. Because like, I want like background music. So enter your name. Oh yeah, I have to like put in like a name. I'll put Nia again. Put your name as Nia. But here's the. I mean, there's a lot of. I mean, I guess to give context, there's a lot of like short stories in something called Grimoire Near, you know? A lot of like weapon stories, short stories, a lot of like extra little tidbits about the world and the lore. I probably won't do that all on stream because that's a lot of stuff to go through, you know, just to read about. But I, what I will do. Just like last time for Nero Automata, I think I'll just, you know, take a quick look at the actual epilogue of this game, you know? It's, it says here is an incomplete summary though, for some reason? I don't know. Uh, what's going on? Alter Earth? Do the Falcon Flow? Falcon Flow? Do the Falcon Flow? Jump on the Falcon Flow? <laughs> anyway, getting distracted. Uh, ending E. If you perfectly align the heavy attack, you float up there. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll do that. Maybe that's the last thing I'll do. Anyway. But now, though, I want to read this, this ending. You know, this is like very short, I think. Yeah, it's just pretty short. But I guess it's just to give closure, you know, to the ending of Nier. Again, it says here, incomplete summary. Is it incomplete? I don't know. I don't know what that means. But maybe it's not finished, or... It will suck if it's not finished, but I assume this is it, right? This is, this is the only part... This is only the only... Uh, document I can find, right? I try to look go to the Wikipedia as well, or uh, I guess the near wiki, but apparently it's not there for some reason. I don't know, it's weird. Because I try to go there, it says it's an insecure connection or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. I I'll assume this is it. The end is near. Oh, already starting off with a pun. The end of near. Kane continues to have nightmares after near disappears. Actually, let me give my. Can I show my. I can't capture my cursor. No, no, no. Kane continues to have nightmares after Nier disappears, with the feeling that she has lost something precious. Kane remembers saving a girl named Yona from the Shadow Lord's castle, and that the Shade Tyran is gone for unknown reasons. But every time she thinks back to that moment, there's always something flashing before her, before dissipating right away. The troubled Kane feels like taking out her bad mood on some shades. That's why she goes to the Forest of Myth after hearing about presence of shades there. When she arrives, she notices that the forest has become something entirely different. It no longer looks like a forest, but instead a fusion of forests and machines, with power cables covering the ground like tree roots, and every step filled with slick green machine oil and sap. Hmm. Okane managed to arrive at the most eye-catching tree in the forest, and suddenly, the vine-link cables, or the cable-like vines, tangles together in the shape of a young man. Hello, I... Before he could finish, Kane has already lopped his head off. Oh, classic Kane. The body falls apart and is reformed in another area. How oh, violent. Allow me to introduce myself. I am... Blah, 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 blah. Random code. I assume it's like one zero 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 one 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 zero. I guess binary code maybe. The overseer of this force. Random code, or, or maybe he he literally maybe he literally said random code. I don't know. Kane paused. The young man continues. 
You don't understand the language my name is in, so call me anything you like, whether it is overseer or young man. You probably have lots of things you don't understand right now, so what do you want to know about? First, about the forest. Second, about me. Three, or third, about the future. Pick one. That was kind of like a fallout dialogue tree. Before Kane could answer, the young man has started with his explanations already. First, about the forest of myth. It is the terminal computer where the ancient people studied a demonic element in quantum physics. The young man said the area is entering its final phase, and the shutdown sequence has already begun. As the young man continues his explanations, swarms of P-33 drones rush in and attacks Kane. Oh, P-33? Is that the, you know, P-chan? The one the robots we always fought? On to the second point. The mysterious young man claims to be in existence similar to that of the Grimmer Weiss. He controls all the demonic elements, the live, the, the live, the, the life and death of gestalts and replicants, and the information of everything within the area. A P-33 human robot appears as most of the P-33 drones are taken out of, were taken out. Hane remembers fighting that thing in the junk heap alongside with someone. But who was it? Eh, probably no one. No one important. Don't worry about it, Kane. That's the most important person to you. If you can defeat these kids, I'll tell you why you're here and the person that you cannot remember. The young man laughs as he summons a robot that looks exactly like Kane. Hmm. Does, she wear a, does this robot wear a blindfold? Well, the third point, the future. Like I said, this world is a failure. We don't need robots and humans. And I've lost my reason to exist. A meal, with an unexplained extra pair of hands, appears out of nowhere and joins Kane's battle against a robot Kane. I guess, you know, obviously a meal is still around, hanging out with Kane, I guess. A meal notices that the tree is a source of power of everything and the two concentrate their attacks at the enemy's core. The scenery, the trees, the ground, the human face dissolves into a giant puddle. Using the power of magic to fuse machines, humans, and plants together, this is the truth behind this world. Amazing, amazing. A replicant like you can reach this level. Amazing. The young man babbles on as he disappears. Whoa. Power cables are whipping around the wind as a storm has formed. Amiya protects Kane as she approaches the magical power source. She just keeps on slashing her sword in the overpowering white light, and suddenly, everything quiets down, as though she has arrived at the border between reality and a dream world. Kane feels that something important is in front of her. She tries touching it, and can vaguely tell that it is the shape of a person. And Kane, don't. Tears flow back on Kane's uh, face. Go back. Do not. Come here. Don't. She grabs on to it as it slips away, losing something important again. Oh, this is pissing me off. This is my life. I decide how I live. I don't need anyone telling me what to do. It's my decision to die for you as your sword. Hane cries off out of fear of losing that important thing again. She's angry at how powerless she is. Okay. I must. I must get it back. I'll get it back no matter what price I have to pay. Someone pushes Kane from the back. Kane uses to help her move forward. Stop screwing around. How can you just disappear all by yourself? I'm the one who will decide what the meaning of my life is. I get to do whatever I want in my own life. Get back here, you bleeping bastard. Okay. The white light dissipates and the clear blue sky reappears. The forest of myth disappears, replacing it as a giant techno-organic flower. From afar resembles the lunatier. At the stamen, or stamen, stamen? Kane is holding a person that is important to her. This person that she used to see, this kind person is in deep slumber. Emil floats closer. Kane looks up to the sky, thinking back to how someone helped push her forward within that white light. When she clearly heard, I'll leave this guy to you, laundry woman. Okay. They meet again. An Emil with a slightly different body, an older Kane, and a younger version of him. Yes. His name is... Nothing. Blank. Okay. Um, so I guess from all of this... I mean, I, I guess what happens... I don't know why exactly it happens. Maybe it explains in other short stories, maybe. But I guess everyone gets reunited one last time. You know, Grimmer Weiss. And I guess, you know, the main character. They all come back. 
I guess he gets reborn or something. I guess that's what happens. Emil, Kane, and him. Hmm. Well, there you go. It explains why all the tech sequences happened there. Hmm. I still don't really get it. I guess it's because the machine, right? The machine thing? I don't really understand really what's going on. But some sort of like life form, you know, terminal thing controlling gestalts and replicants, I guess. Maybe the original power source of like how they made replicants and gestalts in the first place, maybe? That's my guess. But anyway, that, that's, I feel like that's not important. What's really important is that they all get together, you know, in the epilogue. As it turns out, it's actually a happy ending. You know, they all meet back together. There you go, that's the ending. That's the epilogue, and obviously there's definitely much more interesting lore tidbits that you can explore on your own. You know, Grim or Near, I guess. The search for that and you find other things as well. That's what I'll, you know, read on stream, I guess. There you go. On that. Well, how do I do the thing? Eh. Eh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. We. So, uh oh, 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 I guess it can't flow forever. Oh well. That, that's that's a fountain flow. All right. A little, neat little glitch. Anyway. All right. So I guess that's it for near. I think I've done, you know, most things. I haven't done literally everything, but I've done most- I, I got most of what I can out of this video game, I think. You know, it's neat. I, I can see why it was interesting at the time, you know? Because I keep, I keep saying this, but you know, it's, it's a deconstruction of the typical hero story, right? You know? Like, it, it tells you one story, but then you see the other side from a different perspective. As it turns out, it's not what you think it is, I guess, is the idea. And, you know, overall, I, I mean, obviously I like it in general. But um, definitely Nier Automata, I like it a little bit better, only because it's more polished, you know? But either way, it would be kind of cool if I get, you know, if we get more Yoko Taro games, that would be great. You know, that's what I really want. Just more Yoko Taro games. Wouldn't that be cool? Anyway, there you go. Um, but yeah. I guess that's it from your mere replicant. Been, you know, been a Yoko, it's been a Yoko Taro time. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.